What's up, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. This is my first video back. And man, today we just gonna talk about it. So let's go. You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. So yeah, man, I ended the year off, man. You know, uh, 2023 ended off for me, man. Kind of rocky. You know what I'm saying? I ended up having a few issues, had to address some things. And uh, I think I haven't been on YouTube probably in about five months, man. So uh, in the last five months, man, I had a lot of time to sit back, look at some things and uh, reflect. Not only reflect, man, but I had the opportunity, man, to just sit back and look at the internet a little bit, man, and see what everybody else was doing finally, man. Because you know when you own YouTube, you don't have time to watch YouTube. So it gave me time to watch YouTube, man, and see what a lot of the other producers was doing and seeing what kind of information they was giving and seeing how the information was being received. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I took a lot away from that, man. It got kind of got kind of interesting for a while there, man. So, you know, I just want to, uh, I think I want to touch on a few things, man, just because I saw it. And, and to me, it was just kind of like, man, this is crazy watching it, man. And, and you know, for me, not creating content, man, and just watching content, it was kind of crazy, man, because a lot of you guys I had never really watched before fully. You know what I'm saying? I knew you existed, but I never watched any of your content, you know, in a uh, long form. So, uh, you know, just had a chance, man, to check out a few people, man, and check out how the information was being received. And just looking at the, the hip-hop producer sector as a whole man and just seeing what it all entailed and man it was pretty interesting man so uh the first thing I want to talk about was was uh like man we are it, it looked like to me instead of creating music instead of being focused on making dope music instead of being focused on being innovative and taking our music to the next level man it looked like we pretty much are focused on being like i mean we just like consumers man we i know there's like we consuming everything you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go all the way back to black friday man i was just noticing like how everybody was like oh it's black friday it's black friday go buy this go buy that and all your favorite influencers, man, was telling you to go out and buy all this shit and telling you everything for free and all that stuff. And I was thinking to myself, like, man, nobody is showing these guys how to use this shit, though. I mean, like, nobody is showing them how to get in depth with it. Nobody's really giving them the game on it. And I, it was kind of bothering me a little bit because I would watch guys say, go get this, go get that. But they would never really reiterate on a lot of that stuff man and it's like oh everybody like oh it's free and oh go get it oh it's new you know how they everybody make out them faces man so I, w I was intrigued by that man like how many grown men sit online and make dumb ass faces trying to get you to watch their video you know what I'm saying and that, that's just that's just crazy to me because I'm a man's man you know what I'm saying and I just feel like that's goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like this. It's like, what the fuck, man? It's like, is that where hip that's what is that where our music is? Is that the type people making hip hop music? Because if that's how you sell an equipment to them, that's a fucked up sales pitch. And I get it. I get it, man. Don't get me twisted. I see cats getting views and I see them selling equipment for these companies. But let me be real clear with y'all, man, about these companies, man. These companies don't give a flying fuck about you. And that's right, I said it. They don't give a damn about you. They want that revenue. Now, there ain't nothing wrong with them wanting that revenue. But here go my problem with it. Man, y'all buying everything. And there's no way you guys need everything. No way possible, man, because as long as I've been doing it, man, I don't need everything. Now, I know you look around and you say, oh, you got a bunch of stuff already. No, I don't. There's a lot of stuff I would like to have, but you know what, man? Some of this stuff y'all need to pass up, man, because let me tell you something. I'm watching all you guys go out here and buy all this outboard gear and all this 500 series gear, and you don't know how to use it. You would be better off 
going to learn how to use it first. Why don't you go to your commercial studio in your area with your music, get it mixed, and allow somebody to show you how to use that outboard equipment. Don't just go buy that shit, man, and add that learning curve to what you're doing already. Because let me tell you something, man. You cats are, are adding learning curve on top of learning curve on top of learning curve. And, and it's like... I don't think I'm seeing anybody that's mastered anything. I see a lot of people with the MPC X, but they ain't mastered it. I see a lot of people with the MPC one and, and, and all these other MPCs, but nobody's mastered it. Nobody's pumping out like classic hits with it. Everybody just making beats. It's like, that's kind of weird to me, man. It's like, you don't want to be, you don't want to be the head of the class. You don't want to. You don't want to excel at nothing. You just want to always be mediocre. Stop being mediocre, man. In 2024, man. Let's take that equipment and learn it like the back of our hand. You know what I'm saying? And get get dope with that shit, man. And that's where your success gonna come in at. Let me tell you something, man. I see you guys with MPC X's, MPC XSEs, SP 1200s. Uh, MPC 37s, we'll talk about that in a minute. MPC Key 61, I see y'all with all of this different shit. And y'all can't outdo my MPC 4000 with none of that shit. Now that's crazy to me. It's like you got all this technology at your fingertips, and I can get on my 4000 and get to cooking and outcook you. Period. And, the, and to be real honest, I'm not even a beat maker, bro. I'm an engineer. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, man, let's get let's get to a point, man, where we learning this equipment, man. Stop, stop just buying everything because it's new. Stop buying everything because of the colorway. Stop buying everything because oh, such and such said it's a good thing to buy. Stop doing that, man, because most of y'all just spending your money on stuff and you don't even know how to write it off on your taxes. They got y'all going to. Zounds and all these other places, man. Y'all got fucking car notes out here, man, on studio equipment that y'all don't even know how to use yet. Why would you be paying monthly on something that you ain't even taking your time to master? That's crazy, man. But uh the next thing, man, is uh I'm just seeing a lot of low self-esteem, man. So I had the opportunity, man, to sit back. And just kind of look at videos, right? And watching di on different channels, too, man. And I'm watching, like, beat reviews and stuff like that. And I started noticing stuff, man. Like, y'all y'all really sit here, man, and let people break y'all down, man. And, 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 and shit on y'all self-esteem, man. Like, <clears throat> somebody say, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody say, yeah, man, because uh, that stuff y'all making y'all beats trash. And then I see y'all in the comments like, Yeah, you know what? You right, man. My beats are trash. I do make trash beats. I need to step my game up. It's like, oh, my God. You let somebody break you down that easy? It's that easy to break you down? It's that easy to get you off of your, off of your square? Come on, man. You cats got to get better than this, man. For real, bro. And that's what I was saying earlier, man, about mastering your equipment, man. See, if you master your equipment, can't nobody tell you you're not good. Can't nobody do you like that. But the reason they do you like that is because you watch them. They mastered the PC equipment. Then they tell you you trash. And then you like, you know what? I am trash. It's like, man, what? lift your head up, man. Handle your business, man. Start doing some work. Let me tell you something. Let me give y'all a secret. Instead of spending $900 to $1,700 on these PZ equipment y'all buying, and I watched y'all buy some PZ equipment that was in excess of $4,000 too. Let me help y'all with something, man. Go get you some damn music classes. Go get you some damn theory classes. Go get with you a pianist and have them teach you how to play the keys. At least teach you the basics. You ain't got to sit there like like Liberace and them, but I'm saying at least learn the basics so that you know how to put things together. It's like, man, y'all don't even know how to put things together, man. Y'all just pecking away and hoping that it sounds good. So why spend 
five, six, seven thousand dollars a year on equipment when you could be spending that money with you a damn piano teacher and learn how to play the damn keys enough to where you proficient enough to make good music. That's what I think, man. Sink some of the money into you. Stop sinking it into these companies. You got to reinvest in yourself. Reinvesting in yourself ain't always don't always mean buying equipment. That's not always considered reinvesting in yourself. So take that in consideration, man. Reinvest in yourself, you, the person. Get it together, man. It's 2024. Ain't nobody got time for you to be asking them weird questions about theory and all that. Man, go learn you some theory, man, and handle your business so that when you buy the MPC Key 37, you can actually play it. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching all these people online, man. They just showing it off. And I don't even hear nobody making no beats on it. But that lead me into the next thing I noticed, man. Like, in the last five months, man, they even brought you the Native Instruments, uh, Control 61. Everybody was out buying the Rolling Juno X, uh, the MPC 37. And I'm watching all these people and I'm seeing white and black keys on everything. White and black keys. But everybody's like, I don't play the keys. I don't know how to play the keys. I don't know music theory. It's like, wow. So how did they get you to buy that? Oh, I get it because it's the new thing, right? Because it got little flashing lights and shit on it. It's like, man, we got to stop that too, bro. We got to stop that, man. We got to get better. We got to get better. I hear all of y'all talking about placements and placements and y'all, y'all praise the people with placements. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't willing to put the work in to get a placement. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got to be willing to put that work in, man. You got to put that pain in. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. I don't really understand guys who want to, how do I want to put this, man? You want to half-ass learn the craft, but you want to reap the full reward from it. That's weird, bro. That's super weird, bro. And it's just like, that. I just don't see you going nowhere doing that, man. I mean, I don't. It's kind of weird to me anyway, man. It's like, but uh, just get that together, man. That's something that is detrimental to your career if you're trying to make this your career. And you just going to need it, man, for the long haul, man, so that you can be a better, more efficient producer, man, and sit down in any room with any group of producers. I don't care if you got Pharrell, uh, Dr. Dre, and EA Ski in the room. You should be able to sit down in that room with them and create. You should be able to sit down and create and do what you do efficiently straight up and that's just what it is and until you get to that point man you need to handle your business that's just what it is because i'm gonna be real with y'all man when you get in the when you get in the commercial studio man with these uh commercial orders with these mainstream orders ain't nobody playing with you bro ain't nobody got time and you might go in the studio man and the orders only got an hour ain't nobody got time to play with you man so get get on your business man handle your business you're not gonna always get to sit and make beats for hours on end. Sometimes you got to make a beat on the spot. You know what I'm saying? So we're 2024, man. Let's get better at that, man. That's something we need to work on, man. For real, for real, man. And uh, the final thing I want to talk about, man, is uh, beat making itself. I hear a lot of people making beats. I hear a lot of people... Uh, I went to a lot of channels, man. Guys making beats and stuff and... Some guys sound really good, and then some guys just, eh, you know what I'm saying? You kind of leave that with the feeling like, eh, you know what I'm saying? And, and really what I found was, man, most of the times when I felt that way, guys didn't really know how to mix their beats, man. The beats was just out of balance, just not put together right, you know what I'm saying? So... That's another thing you got to practice on once you become a beat maker, man. You got to know how to sequence and and arrange your beats and, 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 and actually mix the beat so that when you present the beat to somebody, they get the full experience of what you're trying to bring to them. Because a lot of times, man, when somebody hear your beat, it drives 
what happens on that beat. It drives the title of the song and everything. So if you got poorly mixed beats, man, people don't really feel it, right? They don't really get into it, so you never get the response that you're really looking for. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, you want to just learn how to properly sequence them and mix them. I'm not saying you got to be a professional mix engineer. I'm just saying you got to know how to lower some levels, raise some levels, EQ a few things, just to, you know, dress it up just enough to where it sounds good when you play it for somebody. Because remember, when you present your beat to somebody, man, it's like you ain't getting a second shot. They not giving you a second chance to hear that beat. Once they hear it and they don't like it, they're going to be like, eh, that's all right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, think about that, man. You got to start mixing them beats, man. Let's start mixing them beats. This year, man, make it a point to mix your beats. Sequence them and mix them and make them sound good. You know what I'm saying? So that when people hear it, when people hear your beat for the first time, man, they, they, they almost ready to sing or rap instantly. You know what I'm saying? And that's just some things that I noticed, man. I noticed a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? From people arguing online with each other to people talking about they was going to clean up the producer community and all that. And it's like, dude, first of all, the producer community is like porn hub. <laughs> You're going to pitch hell cleaning it up at this point, man. There's so many people in it. There's so many people in this space, man, doing what they do. I mean, the only thing you can do is put your information out there and hope that your information resonates properly with the people that's making music and keep it pushing from there, man. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'm just going to I'm gonna end it on that note. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just think that's what we need to do this year. That's some stuff we need to touch on. That's some stuff I noticed. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. I mean, I could come up with a bunch of other stuff that, that I saw, but it's like it's kind of trivial and it ain't worth talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like always, man, don't just be a producer. Be productive. Get in the studio. Be working on something. You may not be working on a beat. You may not be recording a song. But be in the studio working on something that makes you better than you was the last time. And like always, peace.